Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a workflow where we can start with Navisworks, assuming we get a Navisworks file from somebody, and we can convert that geometry into something useful that we could utilize, say, within Inventor. So, uh, caveat, if you can't get the original model from your vendor, your customer, whomever, please do. It'll probably result in, in better geometry, but this is at least a way to extract Navisworks geometry. So the first thing we need to do is we need to come over here and we're going to output this as an FBX file. And you can play with the different settings depending on how much you're exporting. Uh, it can get a little wild. So yeah, you know, just try to export a piece of equipment at a time probably will give you the best results. So I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to accept the default options and I'm just going to save it. So, yeah, I've already run through this, so yeah, I'm going to save over the original. So, the next piece in the puzzle is actually going to be 3ds Max, where I can grab this geometry and I can import it. So, I'm going to go over here to my 3ds Max. I'm going to import this geometry. I'm going to grab the FBX file that I already have. Yep, I accept all the defaults here. I'm not in... Um, a user of the 3ds max software so yeah, I'm just gonna grab it and so this is what it brings in and you can either select this or you can just in this case X is the only thing in here so you can either select it or not and now we're gonna export that and I'm gonna export this you have different ways you can export this data depending on what you want to do but because we want to use it in a CAD model I typically would pick the OBJ file. You can't pick STL or SAT, um, but I remember years ago reading uh, OBJ was a good format, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. <clears throat> and again, you can kind of play with these. I hardly ever, uh, you know, manipulate or change these options. I just go ahead and export it. And there you can see it's done. And let's go back to Inventor. So I, just to give you kind of a visual comparison, I actually started in Inventor. This is the original model. But let's see what we get, comparatively speaking, when we open up this OBJ file. And if you don't see the OBJ file, make sure you switch it to all files in the files of type so that you can see it a little bit easier. Go ahead and open that up. And so this is the resulting file that we received. So it's actually not bad. It's just a mesh but it has almost everything that we want on it. And if you break this mesh down a little bit, you can see that you've got the frame, you've got the polished chrome, some of the other uh, aspects, the different pieces of the machine were colored differently. So for example, if I grab the composite part of the mesh, I could switch over to like the Autodesk appearances and let's just make it yellow. There you can see that the mesh becomes yellow. So that's the idea with extracting the geometry from Navisworks. If we grab that and export it as an FBX file inside of 3ds Max, we can then convert that to a format that Inventor or whichever program can read more easily. I chose OBJ in this example, and then you can make use of it. So. Hope you found that helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know and have a blessed day.